Hello everybody and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator. So today what we're going to do is uh, I'm playing a sandbox mode so I have all the perks unlocked, I have an infinite amount of money and pretty much what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the junkyard and just see if we can find some nice car to restore. So let's go to the junkyard and see what we can get. Alright so we just got to the junkyard. We're gonna look around and see if we can find ourselves a car to kind of restore. Oh, there we go. Looks like a nice El Camino. Um, I'm not sure. Let's, this is definitely this is definitely on the list. Definitely. Let's go look and see what else we got. Anything? There's nothing back there. Nothing there. Nope. Oh, what is that? What is this? Let's see. A bolt coupe. It almost has like a body style of like the charger, like this part. Like just a back panel. Same with that like back roof, but I don't know. It I don't know, it looks weird. Alright, what else we got? Anything back here? Oh, alright. Okay. <laughs> this looks like a Z28 Camaro. Very, very nice. I would love one of these in real life. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, yeah. No steering wheel. No back seat. No driver's seat. Got a passenger seat, though. <laughs> has some. It has a block, at least. I hate finding a car with no block, it just makes everything more harder. But I think this is it. I think this is it. Let's see how let's see about the stats. Well, all that doesn't matter because we're just gonna completely get everything brand new, fix everything up we could. Missing a lot of body parts. Current color red or green, factory color black. Hmm. Fourteen thousand dollars. It's kind of overpriced, but in this in this condition, fourteen thousand dollars for this condition. It's kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, I think we're buying it. We're definitely buying it, and we're gonna move it to garage, and we're going to go back to garage and uh, see what we can do. Alright, so we just got back from the junkyard with the, the Bolt Roulette, aka the Z28. So, what we're going to do first is, um, we're going to go put on our lift, and we're going to just completely gut the car. And we'll take off the tires, the whole suspension, remove the engine, repair everything, everything that we can, buy all the parts that we're missing or we need to repair, uh, that we couldn't repair. We'll fix the body up, we'll buy all the panels, reinstall everything, and pretty much just go from there. So let's start by removing the tires. Um, I don't want to go. Let's just let's just remove all the tires for now. Oop. Take off. We'll probably keep everything stock. We'll keep it like as as stock as possible. But we might actually give us some more performance parts. But just kind of make it like a... Not so much like a sleeper because... You know... You got one of these... Eh, it could be stock or you could soup it up, but... Alright, so we did all that. Now... We're going to remove the drive shaft. So we can remove the engine. It's, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Now remove the gearbox. We're gonna try to remove everything we can underneath here. And we'll just keep removing all this. Clutch release bearing, clutch putter plates. The exhaust that's going to nothing. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the motor out. So is there anything holding this in still? No, okay, so let's load 
lower it and then I need no, here we go let's move this to left A let's open the hood I'm not going to remember how to do this I think it's use pull out yeah and then which one is it create new engine engine from crate there we go all right it's been a minute since i played this <laughs> now we can remove we'll move this back where it was and then we'll just remove the body panels and stuff everything we'll remove everything can move oh the bumper with the bumper no headlight or the panel, the windshield. There's nothing back here. Jeez, look at that. The door. Or the seat. Oh. Don't want to do that. The same interior. The seat. Wrong one. And then we're, we're just going to put it up again. But that's it. There's nothing on the engine. There's not even pistons in the engine. Oh my man. We got a lot of work to do. That's fine. Alright, so we're just going to continue to do what we're doing. We're just going to remove everything we can. And just repair everything. Buy new parts. And go from there. So I don't know really anything about the mechanics of a car I mean like the basic stuff like the brakes and change oil and stuff like that but something like this detailed where you work on removing the engine repairing the engine all that stuff no idea but I would love to learn I would love to be able to do stuff like that what are we holding by, by this yeah like I would love to be able to do this just have a car and go find a car like something something like this go to a junkyard find a car that's just not all there and have the time money and just the knowledge to completely restore a car like this just be incredible it'd be a it'd be a real fun experience just to go out in the garage and just have fun. I mean, it is a lot of money, and that's a huge problem. But if you know what you're doing, I mean, you could probably get all these parts for super cheap at, like, Junkyard, find other cars similar. But I don't know much about it. That's why I play this game. To be a, a mer pretend mechanic. Oh, come on, come on. But there's some parts that I know. Fuel tank. <laughs> oh, the hub. Man. So this game, I've seen a couple YouTubers, I, not a couple, I've seen one YouTuber play it that I watch a lot of, and uh, I really like the way it looked. Um, let's just exit out of this real quick. Alright, so the whole back's done. So when I saw I can buy it for console, I, I had to buy it. Um... They have a kind of like a story mode, you would say. You start off with nothing. <laughs> and where? Oh, yeah. And people bring you, like, their car. And they're like, hey, I need a, to change the brakes. And you would do it. You earn money that way. But for something like this, I just want to do sandbox mode just so I can get any car I want and just go from there so come on what no duh move all this sway bar I should be able to move that bottom arm yep so I thought about just com what is holding this in oh tie rod I thought about um going through and just completely buying all new parts for that but I don't really want to because I want to be able to try to use as much of the original parts that I can 
like once I repair it and stuff because that's just not to me that's not really that fun to just buy everything oh, I'm just gonna buy all new parts because I have no unlimited money like yeah that's cool but it doesn't give you like the full effect of like trying to restore a car and trying to make as much save as much money as possible by using the original parts and stuff so once we get this whole suspension removed we're gonna go on to uh, probably rebuilding the engine which is gonna take the longest time because there is nothing in it absolutely nothing so we're gonna have to just buy a, almost a complete new engine which is good because then we can get the performance parts that we want and try to give us some more horsepower we'll see what we do base and then we'll test on a dyno after we get everything installed and go from there but it's just it's gonna take time remove the, the bushings probably should just buy a whole bunch now because we always need rubber bushings tire steering rack not tire rack with the cross member sway bar all right now we're gonna lower it so we can go into the engine bay remove everything in there and then the car is completely gutted so let's go in here oh there's nothing there's nothing <laughs> radiator battery so let's car status so it's 306 horsepower that's that's the base. We're gonna try. And, I want to try to get up to maybe 400. All right. So what we'll do real quick. Oh man, I never, I never drained the oil. No, I, I don't think I needed to. Not with that one. All right. So this cleans the nothing. <laughs> this one cleans the interior, and then the welder cleans the exterior. So we're just gonna move that to left A. Remove the detail, the lift A. We'll just do I like doing this real quick just to get it out of the way. So let's look at that. Ugly green. Shines up a little bit, doesn't really matter. Remove that. Remove that. No. Oh, racing stripes. I do like that. I do like the race stripes. But I don't like the green. Definitely not the green. Alright. Alright. Yeah. So we're just going to continue to remove everything from this. Remove the block too. Alright. So now I'm going to go over here. We're in the, I'm going to repair it. But I'm probably going to skip this part. Just because the repair part is super annoying. So. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay. So we repaired everything we could. So oh crap. Come on. Come on. There we go. Create new engine. Oh man. what was the engine again? V eight two carb of H V. Not rotate. V8 2 carb OHV. There we go. Oop. Did we not repair the engine? Was that engine not repaired? No, it's right here. Engine block V8 OH. There we go. So we got the block on. Looks super nice and shiny. Let's see. Crankshaft. H. Nope. Alright. So we need the crankshaft. V to H. Then we'll get the oil filter. So. I'm not sure if there's. 
Crankshaft. Nope, alright. I wasn't sure if there was a. Oh, which one? Oh, wrong button. I wasn't sure if there was a. A performance part for that, but. Alright, so. Crankshaft will be a each. Crankshaft. Alright, we got the crankshaft. I'm gonna need crankshaft bearing caps. I think three of them, I could be wrong. Let's get the oil filter. I'm assuming that one. Let's try that. Alright. Let's put the crankshaft in. Oil filter on. All right, we're gonna rotate it. There we go. Just so we can actually. Let's see what we're doing. So we need pistons with concrete. All right, so that I can get from the performance. I'm pr pretty sure. Pistons. We need piston rings too. I'm gonna try and get a couple things here. Like, all right, so that's one, two, three. How's it right with that? Pistons, power steering, alternator. All right, was I need the? Uh, what do I need the piston rings. That's in here. Oh. Yeah, those. All right. So let's part. Pistons in. All the rod caps. I like to try to get the bottom of the engine done first so I can just flip it and work on the top and kind of go from there. But this part is definitely going to be the longest part just because of how many moving parts and how many parts I have to actually physically buy because there was nothing. Alright, so I need the rod, eight rod caps. Keep pushing the wrong button. Alright. Oh. Just all the rod caps. I hate when it does that. We'll steer it. We'll install this real quick. Try to get everything tightened up down here. Rod cap. Another rod cap. <laughs> so I'm not sure how much horsepower we're going to be able to get out of it. I want to say I want to try and get about 425, 450 is my goal. Anything above that is just a bonus. Because I think this thing was stock was, I was like, what, 330 or something like that, it said? I don't remember. We'll take it to the dyno after we're done with everything. Paint it, dyno it. Am I missing? Yeah, I was like, am I missing one? Alright, so now oil pan to that. Nope. Uh. Oil pan, Vito H. Now it should be the whole bottom. Done. All right. Now I gotta move this. I'm gonna rotate it. Right side up. Look at all that. Oh man, that's a lot. Alright. I'm trying to be able to work on the headers first if I want to work on the front. Alright, let's just do Q 
Cam Chef. Look at that performance. I could search all this, but I just. Yeah, right there. Okay, nice. I could search all of it, but. Cam Gear. Jeez. My God. Mission Distributor. Alright, I know that's the performance part. I know I've seen it. Mission Distributor. Yeah, I was like, I know I've seen it. What was the other part I needed? Cam gear. Nope, wrong button. Go back. Nope, go back. Cam gear. V8 to V8. Or HV, sorry. Keep saying V8 for some reason. Install that. Oops. Install that. What do we need? Timing chain. I wonder if I just do this. What is it? OHV? Yeah. That's way better. Alright. Timing chain. I think it was the original timing chain. Let's do that. Yep. Timing chain. Timing chain cover. I don't even have a time... <sighs> Whew, I forgot. This thing is nothing. Timing chain cover. Install that. Water pump I definitely need. Crank pulley. I can't get a performance water pump, right? No, I, okay. I was like, pretty sure I can't get... <laughs> There's no performance part. Alright, water pump. And then the crankshaft pulley. Install the water pump. Water pump pulley. Crankshaft pulley. So I'll go to the bottom, get the water pump pulley. Um, oh, it's just a standard. Yeah, okay, that's why. What if I just go? Yeah. There we go to the very bottom. Open shopping list. Huh. I never knew that was there. That's something. Look at that. You learn something every time you play a game. Water pump pulling. That's the case, man. I could have just done that. I could have just put all the parts I needed in the shop list and just done them all at once, but. Alright, I need an alternator. Power steering pump. Any performer parts? Alternator. I doubt. Po I don't. Oh, hang on. I got the wrong alternator. No, no. Okay. I want to say there's no power steering pump performance, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. What I'm not sure. There's pistons. Power steering pump. Oh, look at that. Power steering pump. The alternator. We got fuel filter. Ignition coil. Serpentine belt V. Alright, we'll do that. We'll get this the belts. Um we're gonna search L H V again. Routine belt B. Install that. And then it should be serpentine belt A. Yeah. Belt 
aid. Ooh, come on. There we go. It's super touchy. Raider fan. B. So I know that we don't have any of this because there was nothing on the engine, so. So that's it. Alright, so now we need a fuel filter and ignition coil B. Which will get both those for performance. Ignition. Ignition coil B. Ignition coil B and fuel filter. We should call B. And fuel filter. Alright, so now we'll go on to the headers. Engine headers V8. So performance, I think. Let's see. Um I won't search it just because if there's something engine header V8, two of them. Alright, let's just let's just work on one side. Get one side done and then go to the other side. Alright. Um push valves spark plugs. Alright, so let's get we'll get the spark plugs. Um I think I'll get eight. I don't know if I need eight or six. I mean, it's a V8, so I'm assuming eight. But and then what was the other thing? Was it a, was it a ignition rod, push valve wraps, and then sauce manifold V8. I don't think. Oh, two of those. Oh man, I keep forgetting. What was it? Valve. Push valve rod, valve push rods. All right. I believe these are just a normal part. I'll go to engine. Towards the bottom. Valve push rods. Uh, I think it was just this. I think I need 16 and I'm gonna need where are they rocker pretty sure rocker arms I think they're called I'm gonna need 16 of these all right we'll bolt the sauce on then we'll install the valve push rods. Oh, oh, all right, valve push rods. We'll do the rock arms. No, valve rock arms. There you go. Valve push rods. I'm assuming this game's pretty realistic when it comes to like all the parts and where they go and stuff like that. I guess if it was only this simple. <laughs> but eh, that's not too bad. I mean, it kind of teaches you a little bit more. Like, I wouldn't use this game to exactly rebuild the engine. Oh, I know how to rebuild it because I play this game. No, I wouldn't definitely. No, not even close. Cause I know like certain parts you have to torque down with so much torque and it's just so much that goes in that engine but hopefully we can get this thing done relatively soon I don't think it's gonna take too long once we once we bolt up the side and then we just do the other side we're pretty much in a good spot uh, engine to cover yeah so we'll Install the spark plugs. It's 
camera's kind of whack sometimes. Alright, part. Then we need engine head cover A. Engine head cover A. Engine head cover A. And then we need engine head cover B. There we go. Install the cover. Alright, pretty sure it's one side done. Yep, one side done. Move on to the next side. Pretty much same thing we just did. We'll install the exhaust. We'll install the spark plugs. Come on, come on. Oh. Spark plugs. We'll do the rocker arms and the push valves. Or push rods, sorry. And then we gotta do the carburetor on top. I don't think this is supercharged. I wish it was, just to give us more power. But, eh. I plan on making this into a series. Um, every episode will be a different car, obviously. Uh, just going to the junkyard, finding cars that way. Um, I could go to, like, the au auction and buy the cars, but the only problem with that is, like, all the cars are, like, not terrible shape so I think I mean I can go there and get some decent cars like a quick flip car but eh, I, I, I prefer this way going through the junkyard and just finding cars and restoring them and I'm gonna keep them all obviously but just put my own little touch and everything because I don't feel like just buying a car oh we're gonna just soup it up and that's it no I wanna go through all everything and get everything we need done intake manifold um, I don't think this is I could be wrong oh what, two car I think it was we'll risk it I think it's that yeah okay some reason I can't remember a lot. Okay, so put the cover on. I know I need the wiring. I need. All right, so we'll do ignition distributor rotator. It should be right, right there. All that I gotta put the cap on. Pretty sure the cap is not. Oh, it is. And then the wires. I'm not 100% sure. Normal V8 wires. Pretty sure it's just these ones. Could be wrong, but pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. All right, now we need. Two carburetors. Two carburetors top. Crap. A or B. Just two carburetor four barrel. Okay. Right there. Two of those. I know I'm gonna need air filter. all these I I do have to say like the amount of detail in this game it's pretty impressive and just like looking at that engine like super clean see all the parts you put on it it I really enjoy it like the attention to detail is incredible around our filter base to carb around air base filter to carb 
Round air base to curb. Gonna need a cover for that. Round air filter. I think I can get the filter. I could be wrong. Round air filter. Round air, round air filter to curb, I think it would be. Intake. Yeah, right there. Hope I'm right. Around the air filter. There it is. Put the cap on. That one bolt. Engine's pretty much done. Now we just gotta add the flywheel, which we need a new one. And I'm pretty sure it's not a performance part. But I don't know. No, okay. Flywheel. Did I pass it? I passed it. Hmm. Oh. There it is. Alright. Flywheel. Just gonna buy everything I need. I know I need. Flywheel. Clutch plate. I know this is not legit, because you can never get in there with like this, but I'll just throw it on now instead of... Yeah, that's it. Okay. So there she is. She's done. Looks very, very nice. So what we'll do is... Do I want to get the... Debating if I want to put the engine in first or if I want to put the suspension in. Hmm... Yeah, we'll just, we'll put the engine in real quick. Where's the, there it is. Put the engine in. Left A. I think it's, engine, I got to put engine stand. Take engine off crate. Stall. We'll remove this back where it was. There it is, look at that. Woo! Man, it looks real nice. Honestly, that green's starting to grow on me, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. We'll see when I we'll see what I pick the color to. All right, uh, we will do. We'll work on the front first. So let's see if we got everything. All right, good. Well, first things first, I'm going to buy as many rubber bushes as I can. Because I know for a fact I'm going to need a lot of them. So I'm going to buy 20. Just just to try it. Alright, so we'll start with one side. We'll add the bushings. Bushing over here. Alright, where am I? Alright, we'll install the steering rack. Perfect. What's this? Inner tie rod? Probably, yep. So, two inner tie rods. Two inner tie rods. We'll buy two inner tie rods. I think that might be it for now. Inner tie rods, swear by her. Sway bar B. Sway bar B. Stall that. Oh, crap. Grab the wrong one. Front sway bar B. Yeah, I should have known. But I go for it back now, so. Front sway bar B. Got the back out so I can see what I'm doing. The knuckle. Got one, so I'm gonna need another one, so. It's a front knuckle C. We'll buy another one. Uh, front axle knuckle cover. Gonna need another one. 
No, oh, front axles. I like to kind of go from one side. Whatever I need, I buy the. I'll buy it. Oh, I need. I'm good. So I'm not going back and forth in the store the whole time. I need this. Wheel hub bearings. All right, so we'll get two wheel hub bearings. Gonna need two wheel hub bearings. I'll buy two caps. Let's get that done. I need this. All right, I need two brakes, upper arm suspension, perfect. Lower arm, bottom arm, yep, good. Uh, double wishbone shock is over. Yeah, I'm gonna need all that. Front sway bar, yep. Got the outer tie rod, yep. All right. So now we need. Was that A or B? B. All right. So we'll buy two Bs. Um, rear. We want front. I don't know why I did that way. That was the most obnoxious way I could have done it. All right. So we're gonna go crunch these real quick. Uh, joint parts, what I'm to work with, what? Did I buy the wrong ones? I, th I think I bought the wrong ones. <laughs> Double wishbone shock, yep, I definitely bought the wrong one. Huh. Oh. Now let's try that. Ooh, wrong button. While we're here, might as well buy the two pads, two cylinders. Pretty sure it was. A I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. That. I'm just gonna buy everything. That compress the spring, remove that. Well, real quick while we're here, I forgot about the rims, so I'm hoping I can restore them. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take the tires off the rims. Oh, I'm printing it on. <laughs> I went too fast. Take. Separate parts. I always forget about the rims and tires. I probably should do these first. Alright, take that. Separate. Just keep separating these. Take that. Separate. We'll separate it. We'll repair the rims if we can. If not, it's not a big deal. We're just going to get brand new tires anyways. And then go from there. But I'm going to finish the suspension. The front and rear suspension. We're going to buy some body parts. Paint it up. And then take it to dyno. See what we do. So repair it. So I was unable to repair any of those, so we're going to have to just buy brand new rims. Not that big of a deal. We'll install that. We'll install that. So that whole side is pretty much good. Alright, we'll put the brakes on. Oop. Brake pads. Oop, break. I think that's it. Nope, the cap. Now it's the rim. Okay. 
so that side is completely done we're gonna go on this side now do the same thing we just did start by the bushings because they're the most annoying might as well put this in right here in our tie rod rubber bushings oh come on no nope, not the there we go put the knuckle on cover want to try to get the arms in and stuff install the arms did I oh hang on did I take that all right I did make sure I took that spring that one bolt install the sway bar link tie rod the upper suspension arm all these rubber bushings still need to hold through the whole back then that should be it with that yep now we just gotta put the wheel hub on once you get the whole one side done it's super easy because you just get all the other parts that you need and then you just go through it the hardest part someone's the first side install that oh back up a little bit put the hub in and the cap the front suspension is completely done it looks super clean super nice we'll do the rear suspension we'll put new rims and tires on it we'll drop it and then we'll connect everything together so let's do the rear suspension which is annoying leaf spring rear okay so we need a whole new suspension for the rear so we'll just start getting everything I think we're gonna need we'll just buy two leaves we'll just buy or just gonna buy everything I think we're gonna need we'll start with that install that warehouse and nickel good we got those rear shock is over B okay so we'll buy two rear shock is over B do I need this I'm assuming I need this spring no <laughs> oh yeah duh leaf springs it's older cards install leaf spring plate u-boats which I had a whole crap ton but didn't matter wasn't gonna risk it. Uh, small row bushings. All right, we'll get four small row bushings. I forgot about the small. All right, install that. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. There it is. All right, now we'll install the wheel hub. Gonna need a gas tank, solid rear drive axle. All right, we're gonna buy a solid rear drive axle just for the other side. Install that trim wheel cylinder, the shoes, which we had some, but doesn't matter. Two brake drums, which. I should have bought two, but to think about it, saw that, and the rim. Okay, next side. I like the rear just because it's so much faster than the front, but it just takes your time. All right, install this. I guess the leaf spring. Small row bushing. Once you get the hang of this, it's you're, you're gonna get to the point where you know exactly what you're gonna need. Like you can't repair rubber bushings; you always gotta buy them. So it's kind of a good thing to always, even before 
just have a whole bunch of those sitting aside because you're going to need a whole bunch. At least, what, eight? So, yeah. Just the little things that keep you one step ahead in this game. There are some DLCs I was looking at getting. They have like a, um, I think it was a Dodge Demon, which would be real sweet to do. Just make that thing as much horsepower as possible and see what I can do with it. All right, we're gonna buy a fuel tank real quick. Um, we'll just search fuel. All right, we'll buy a fuel tank and oh, one of those, and then we're gonna go to the performance parts. And the fuel pump. All right. We'll go install that real quick. Then we just gotta go to the exhaust. Come on, there it is. All right. So what we'll do is I'm gonna figure out what kind of rims. Let me see if I could. It should tell me what size and stuff they were. Yeah, I forgot no arms. Well, we'll just buy tires and rims real quick. Um, rims. I want a classic muscle style rim. So, I'm trying to find out which is the best one. Don't like some of these. I wish you could paint the rims, though. That's pretty classic. I like that. If you could paint the rims, they look so much better. So we'll just buy four of them. Put them at 18, and we'll put them at 10. Okay, so now I gotta buy tires for it. Just buy basic, just basic tires. Um, eighteen. The two twenty-five. There we go. So we'll start putting these together. Nope. Slow down a little bit. We'll start doing that. Um, then we're going to need to... I'll just do this. I don't want to keep going back and forth. So we'll take that. Put a new one on. Then we'll have to balance it. Once we get the tires all balanced, we're going to go and pretty much get the drivetrain in with the exhaust. That will finish the entire mechanics of the car. We'll lower it down and we'll buy all the body panels we got to buy for it. Then we'll just paint it and then once we paint it, we'll dyno it and that's about it. So we'll just keep doing this. I'm still thinking about that green. I'm not sure. I want to see how blue's gonna look, or I don't want to do black though. So we'll try blue or a nice silver. But so I have three three bays in here. I might start putting the, the next car I'm gonna do in here. Like if I go out find a new car, I might put it here or right here. But I just think if just keep one car in the garage at a time would be better. Just so, kind of keep it a surprise. I don't want you guys knowing what I'm doing next. Just keep one step ahead. <laughs> but it looks mean. It definitely looks mean. That, that, that motor looks aggressive. Ooh, all right. Get these tires off. Got to put the gearbox in. Pretty sure it should be everything. All right, we'll see. Front exhaust pipe A. There is an exhaust, right? Was there? Ex no. Yeah. Duh. Exhaust pipe A. No. 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 Oh. There's B. I don't see A. Front, ex oh, front, that's why. 
front exhaust. Come on. Really, nothing? Wow. L. V10. Oh, a V10 would be real nice to do. I've got to look into a V10. They had, um. What was it, a Bugatti? No. They have some other DLCs that. I don't buy that. Front exhaust pipe. I swear I just bought it. Oh, whoops. Wrong ones. Install those. Other side. Two minimum mufflers. Two minimum mufflers. Oh, jeez. This. This. Rear muffler V8. Two of these bad boys. It's all there. Like I said, the camera view is kind of whacked a lot. I don't like how it jumps around all the time, but it's not much you can do with it. Alright, now I gotta go to here. Gotta finish tighten up the gearbox. Gearbox V80. Gonna put performance gearbox in. V8. 4x4. Four four. There we go. Install the gearbox. Oh. Wrong one. Gotta put a starter on. Starter V8. Get a standard starter. Been a gearbox. Man, go to starter. I should have searched it, but it is what it is. Starter, starter. V8. Saw that. Drive shaft. Nope. Uh, we're just gonna search drive staff shaft. This should be the last part. And then we'll just put the tire. Oh, yeah, we'll put the tires and rims on. We'll drop it down. And then we'll have to um, clean up the engine bay a little bit, put the battery in, buy a new battery, probably put it in, install everything else. We got to install the radiator and stuff like that. And then we'll be pretty close to being done. It does take a while, but. It's fun. It's all fun. Just being able to restore a car and going through everything. It is fun. So that's good. We're gonna lower it to the, lower it a little bit. We could probably drop it all the way. Ooh, that looks good. All right, now we're gonna install everything we got installed. Mm. Raider C, definitely need that. Okay. Radiator C. Wish there was a faster way besides searching. But there's not. Probably should have bought a battery when I was in there. But. Yeah, I got a battery. That's the last thing I need is a battery, so. Put the battery in. I 
think that's it. Now the only thing I have to do now, because I always forget, where is it? Is this? Put some oil in. Always forget that part. <laughs> Just keep going till it tips down. All right, that's good. All right, now we gotta pretty much get all the body panels and stuff. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just search the body panels. Mm. Was it R O L L? All right, we have. We're just gonna buy. Oh, we need one left door window. I'm just gonna buy everything we have. A which we call it. We have a hood, so we don't need that. Oh, I mean we need a seat and a steering wheel. All right, let's do that real quick. Interior. I'm trying to think will be the nicest. Kind of keep it look like a classic. So we're looking for the seat, the front seat. I don't want a racing seat. We'll buy two of those. Gotta find a nice back bench seat to kind of match it. Oh, got an achievement. <laughs> um, really nothing good. Look at that. <laughs> Anything that kind of matches? Not really. Oh, that's a bow in front. For this, I don't think it really matters what goes in any of these cars, but I could be wrong. But I want to find something that's decent. I don't want to find something that looks out of place. Um. That top one probably looks the best, but it says front, but we'll try it. And then the steering wheel. I want just a normal steering wheel. That's legit. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't think I want a racing steering wheel. I don't like the wood. Don't like that. Could just get a basic. You know what? We're gonna get the racing wheel. Alright, let's install the hood. Front bumper. Of course, I gotta buy that. Uh, body shop. Try again. Front bumper. Fenders. Whoop. Fender. Put the headlights in. Oh, it looks clean. Put the doors on. Put the windows in. The mirrors on. The windshield. Rear window, trunk, rear bumper. Oh, almost forgot taillights. <laughs> Saw taillights. Other door. I probably am going to install or change the license plates up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, which one is it? I gotta open. You know what? All right, let's move the car to the garage entrance. 
and we'll do the uh, interior. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Man. Do I have to put the uh... It, it almost looks better without a back seat. I might not put a back seat in it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put a back seat in it. Well, there's the car complete. Body panels on, just need to paint it. Still wish the rims could be painted, but Alright, so we'll move the car to paint. And we'll go to the paint booth. Let's paint it. Oh, what color do I want to do? Ugh. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not just gonna go through and say what color. I mean, the green, blue. Oh, I like that. Whoa! All right. Gotta keep that on there. Let's paint it. That looks good. That's probably how I would definitely have it. Oh, yeah, it looks real clean. Real clean. Alright. Let's move the car to the dyno. I'll figure out how much power we're gonna get out of it. Close the door. Open door. Close the door. Man, it looks really good. Whew. Oh, <laughs> clip B. For I think it's. Oh, yep. I can't believe I forgot that. Hang on. I wonder if I could buy it right here and just install it. It just goes on the, uh... I can't believe I forgot the clips. I always forget the clips. I need two of them. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can just work on it from here. Yep, right there. You never see it. Never see it. I should have just searched it, but all right. Okay, sure. Yep. Yeah, here we go. So three hundred six is the base horsepower. Let's do it. Sounds like a jet engine. <laughs> Come on. Oh, all right. There we go. Wow, 550. That is nice. That is real nice. 244 horsepower more. Wow. That's respectable. I could definitely, I could definitely drive this. I could definitely drive this. <laughs> Move it to the front. And, uh, that's it. First car done. Ooh, that looks so good. C28 in this game. What is it? The roulette. The bolt roulette. Everything's good except the back seat. Oh, and the uh, license plate. So, we're going to buy some license plates real quick. Button again. License plate. So I live. Oh, oh they got the crap yellow ones. All right, we'll buy two, and we're gonna name it whatever I want. So that's what this car is. This is E28. I think I messed that up. 
Nope. Every time I do that, it never shows up. Custom my license plate. Done. Nope. Can I not have that? I don't know why. It's oh, there it goes. All right. Can't forget the license plate. Z28. There it is. That's it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely have some plans for other cars I'm going to be doing. So if you guys like this one, feel free to come back for the next one. Like I said, I want to make a little mini series about this. Go to the junkyard, find some cars, restore them like this one. Or I might just go through and buy a car from the auction and make it the way I want. We'll see what happens.